Hey guys, what's up? By Sack the Tron here from One Half Gazette, here with the next live attack video, and we got a Town Hall 11 base lined up to be two starred. This is not the most competitive war, most likely. I mean, it's early on, we don't know, but I don't think it's going to be that competitive. Uh, we're doing very well so far, and honestly, I think this base might be a good candidate for a three star attempt, just taking a look at the design. But regardless, you know, it always seems that way, then we never have quite as many attacks as we would like to try the Town Hall 11 v 11 3 star attempts. So um, they have quite a few 11 bases that our Town Hall 11s might attack before this one. So that all being said, it's important to get this one 2 starred and that's just what I intend to do. So the plan is this. Um, I want to do a queen walk. It's a very uh, good opportunity for percentage to do a queen walk just right down like this can take out so many buildings with my queen, she can reach that second layer in uh, in these areas. I think she could even reach the air defense uh, and that wizard tower probably, so all good stuff there. She's gonna take out a lot if I just send her in this direction. Of course, I'll use a baby dragon to create the funnel there. Um, I'll rage her up as needed. I'm not gonna lure out the CC, so I guess we'll kind of uh, have to see what's in there. If it's a, a dragon and stuff like that, it might be a little bit more difficult, but I think regardless, um, I can still get the town hall uh, taken out. So I'm going to do the queen walk like that. I'm going to basically just let her go for a long time. I'll rage her once, possibly even twice. I have three rages, so I'm willing to use two of them on her uh, if needed. Uh, once she you know, is making her way around and I feel comfortable, I'm going to drop a baby dragon on this army camp. Should step up for this archer tower is what I'm hoping. I want to try to get the archer tower taken out with that baby dragon. I have an extra one. Um, I think I have either three or four, I can't remember, but I have quite a few, so in case there's, you know, seeking air mines or something, I am prepared to uh, to drop another one in either of those two locations. But anyway, um, once that happens, I have a golem in the CC, and drop some bowlers, try to maybe take some of these out on the second balance if the baby dragon doesn't do too much. Um, but anyway, I'll drop some a golem and some bowlers behind it. I will drop my jump right like that. I don't really want to connect the Inferno, but it doesn't matter if I connect the Inferno because the Valks should be more attracted to this area because it's closer rather than the Inferno Tower, which is a little bit farther back with that Air Sweeper. So I think I should be fine there. Um, I'm going to try to freeze the CC, especially if it's something that's you know, going to be dangerous, um, along with the Inferno Tower. So maybe I freeze like that. Um, of course, I'll have my third rage for this area, and it's not that hard to get the town hall, so it should go down pretty quickly. There are the heroes to deal with, um, but I think they shouldn't be too much for 10 Valks plus my king under rage. So, um, got the king, the golem, the Valks, the bowlers, all that stuff on that side of the base. Then, uh, finally, I just have a haste and three loons for this archer tower, get that taken out. That will allow me to drop a few um, minions right around here with some archers, possibly. Um, and then if I have a leftover baby dragon, maybe I'll drop it right there. Try to get that archer tower as well. Should get pretty good percentage. I think I feel very good in this attack. Not the most difficult Town Hall 11 base. But who knows, I could eat my words. Let's go into Clash and see if we can get the job done. Alright. Make sure I have everything. I uh, got the spells looking good, the CC, both my heroes. That king will be 40 soon, don't worry. I also have both my Inferno Towers are being upgraded, so I better get that king done. I don't want to be almost max defensively and still not have max heroes. That would be very, uh, very unfortunate and dis disadvantageous, if that's even a word. All right, let's just finish the troops. I'll stop talking. You guys just want to see the attack. Um, all right, got... Six bowlers, I have four baby dragons, four healers, uh, three loons, five archers. Should be more than enough to get the job done. All right. We'll donate to him later. Now we have an attack to do. All right, one last time, baby dragon, start the queen. And then from there, it's just about going through with the plan. Um, Yeah, let's let's do this. Okay, we'll get the baby dragon down first. Baby dragon, queen, one, two, three, four. Good placement on everything. Not gonna need to rage up the queen um, for the time being. We'll let her go for maybe another 45 seconds to a minute. Wanna let her really get stuff taken out. 
maybe even longer than that, depends. She has quite a few storages to get through. Um, but time is typically not going to be your enemy at Town Hall 10 v 11 attacks. But who knows, This after the update, um, it'll be interesting to see how 10 v 11 attacks are much more difficult, I'm thinking. Uh, but that remains to be seen. I got two point defense on her. Let's go ahead and just get her raged up. Good placement on that rage. There's the air defense. That's important. Keep walking. We'll get the baby dragon started. Just to see how it does. It should go for that archer tower next. Right, get another rage ready. Uh, the healers are going down, but that's fine. Come on, there you go. All right, keep an eye on the queen's ability. Gonna have to use that somewhat soon, probably. Golem, one, two, three, four, five, six, and the jump. King, Valks, poisoned the CC. Should end the balloons at the beginning. Get that, get that. Oh, first. Well, I hope it was worth it. Saying you were the first comment um, and almost messing up my attack. Whoever that was, um, if you see him in the comments, uh, give him a hard time. I should end this at the beginning of the attack. All right, uh, Clash in Lebanon. Get on that guy's case, too. I mean, my fault for not turning off notifications, but still. I mean, how would they not know I'm doing a live attack? All right. Um, anything else I can get? I should stop that and focus on this attack. Um... Come on. Yep, 67% two star. A uh, uh, very good two star. A little bit close in the town hall. We'll take a look at the replay. Um, did not look like I got it by much. I mean, the Tesla there didn't even go down. They had quite a bit, um, this defender, to stop what I was doing. But, um, oh, if you're wondering why everyone joined the clan, there was like a CWL thing where, um, that's a long story, but... I don't even know why, to be honest, but they want everyone to clear out their clans and then join, have people join back. I think just a precaution against um, like some type of burner account or something. I don't know the details, but um, that's just what happened. So um, we had to clear out the clans. I think pretty much every CWO clan had to do that. But now people are joining back. Um, hopefully they'll join back. We, we do like our members. Anyway, though, um, this attack was interesting. The queen walk went good. I'm pretty sure she got almost, you know, 180 around the base um, to the other side before she went down. Uh, so she got good value, invested two rages in her, but she got a ton of percentage. Uh, we'll take a look, a closer look at the, um, the other part of the attack, that town hall dive, because it was closer um, than I would have liked. I saw at one point the town hall seemed like it had like a sliver of hit points left, and it just hung there for a while. I guess the Valks ran out ahead and died, and it was up to the king to finish it off, um, which is never that safe, but uh, luckily the town hall did in fact go down. But yeah, um, if you're wondering who those commenters were, I forgot to turn off my notifications, and it's for the announcement video that's just going to be uploaded um, just a few, an hour maybe before this one. So uh, if you can, go back to that announcement video and really give those people a talking to, um, the two people who commented, because uh, they really have to um, have some more respect for my live attacks. So um, I'll let you guys do that after the video is over, but... That all being said, taking a look at this attack here, um, Queen Walk, I pop her ability. I'm sure she goes down to just point defense, um, nothing too unusual. Try to drop a few bowlers on this uh, bomb tower just to get it taken out, help funnel better. But I guess with the Inferno Tower uh, and that bomb tower, the bowlers actually went down pretty quickly. Yeah, um, so the Valks kind of get split up a little bit, but they all come back in. The Freeze was good, got the Inferno, got that baby dragon. It was the queen, it looks like. The queen aggroed my Valks, and 
they, they would have got that town hall much easier had the queen not been an issue. I didn't think she would, but I guess for some reason uh, her range did extend to wherever those Valks were standing. So they got pulled in big time. The town hall you saw for a moment was just a sliver, and then um, and then the, the king steps up and gets it. So luckily the king uh, does his job, even though he's only 39, not 40, but who's counting? Um, this I should have at the beginning of the attack. That was pretty stupid not to. Um, so, rookie mistake here, not dropping the loons and minions. It's a good touch, it gets good percentage, but I have the eagle up. That's the reason you do this stuff at the beginning of the attack, um, especially on an attack where I know I can't get the eagle with my town hall dive. The town hall is nowhere near the eagle, so I should have just done this at the beginning. It would have got me a few more percentage, but really, you know, the attack's already over. I got my 67%, um, very good, so... Anyway, hope you liked the video, hope you learned a few things, and um, hopefully we can publicly shame those commenters for possibly making me tap away. Now, I think for the most part they commented a little bit later on in the video, which is um, or a little bit later on in the attack, so it wasn't like a huge risk. Uh, the attack would have still been successful, I think, had I accidentally tapped on their notification. But regardless, just on principle, if nothing else, it's pretty unacceptable. So. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you liked the video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow, hopefully in that stream. Check out the last video. If for some reason you skipped the announcement video to watch this one, check it out um, because I am streaming tomorrow, or pretty much it's almost already tomorrow. It's pretty late here. All right, this guy's okay. He's after the attack. Um, I'm, I am streaming tomorrow at 10 a.m. Uh, Pacific time, 1 p.m. East Coast time in the United States, um, the update, stuff like that. I'm not going to spend too much time because I already talked about that in the last video. So check that out if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys hopefully in the stream, if not in the next video. Bisectatron out.